Okay, so that is your side to side running stitch. The next one is the catch over and catch across stitches. So following the instructions here again, I want you to go across the top, underneath the fabric and across over the circle, underneath the fabric, across, underneath the fabric, up over the circle and so on. So there is my circle line and there are my guide stitches that I have done. So you go across under the fabric, just a little bit further on, across your main circle, in, go in and then bring it out and then there back out. Cross down into your guide, just a little nick up. And then your stitch. And then that'll nick one up. And then across. So there is your catch over and catch stitches there. Over, catch, across over there, catch, over the circle, catch, across, and continue all the way along. The next one is the spiral stitches. So what I want you to do is bring it up so you're not catching this time, up and over and then catch down underneath the fabric and then up and over, just like a spiral. So again, starting from the top because we all of them are starting from the top to make it easier when you um, do the stuff at the Shibori workshop. You take it underneath your circle, bring it up. and over. It's up to you how wide or how shallow um, you choose to do this bit. You might want your stitches to be quite far apart. You might want them to be nice and close together. This is up to you.
So that's your spiral stitches. So just literally just spiraling your way up in evenly. With your next one, it is small running stitches. So the same as the one that you did the first one running stitches, but they're much smaller. That's all. There are your small running stitches. The last of the six circle stitches that you're going to do, this one is over and under stitches. So with this one we will start and bring the needle up. We'll go over to the other um, stitch guide. When you do the dyeing, you will realise how just a little subtle difference in how you stitch can make quite a different effect. And this is important when you start doing a lot of um, stitching that you're trying to make images. So try to get these right across straight. So here are all the stitches that you're going to be doing, but you'll see when you do the dyeing, the difference that each style make. 